Well, here we are. This is not a very happy video. I'm probably gonna rant a lot, maybe, but I'm gonna try to do it as calmly as possible because my voice is still not at 100%, but I am very upset. You're gonna probably feel it in a little bit. Sung Han is not coming back to Rise. I'm, I'm really annoyed with the fans. These fans have really, uh, they've done it. SM and the fans. We're gonna get to that in just a minute, but right now, I'm gonna read this article and then we're gonna get into my take on things. So the article starts off with saying that Rise's Sung Han is permanently leaving the group. On October 13th, just two days after announcing that Sung Han would be returning from his hiatus, Wizard Production, the SM Entertainment division in charge of managing Rise, followed up by announcing the news of Sung Han's departure. According to Wizard Production, Sung Han has personally expressed his desire to leave Rise for the sake of both the other members and the group's fans. The directors stated, quote, Sung Han has consistently expressed his desire to leave the group for the sake of the members and the fans. Out of respect for the artist's decision, we are announcing Sung Han's departure from Rise. End quote. Sung Han originally debuted as a member of Rise in September of last year before halting all activities just two months later. The full statement of Wizard Production reads as follows. <clears throat> Hello, this is Wizard Production. First, we sincerely apologize for hurting Rise, Rise's fandom, and causing confusion through our announcement of Sung Han's return on October 11th. We feel particularly apologetic for prioritizing Wizard Productions position instead of making our top priorities the growth achieved by the six RISE members while working their hardest, the support of Bryce, who have been RISE's greatest source of strength during the journey, and the preciousness of the times that Rise and Bryce have spent together. We made this decision after debating it for a long time because we thought that if Sung Han returned after reflecting on his past wrongdoings and Rise showed another level of growth as a group, we would be able to give the artists and the fans greater joy. However, the announcement of his return, we ruminated carefully on each and every one of the opinions and responses sent in by fans. And we realized that our decision had actually hurt fans more and caused them greater concern instead. At the same time, Sung Han has consistently expressed his desire to leave the group for the sake of the members and the fans. I'm getting very, very emotional <laughs> right now. I'm trying not to get mad. Out of respect, oh God, out of respect for the artist's decision, we are announcing Sung Han's departure from Rise instead of his joining the group. We will support Sung Han in the future so that he can showcase his talents and follow his dreams. Above all else, we also sincerely apologize for creating hardships and confusion for the six members who have ever since their debut always given their all while thinking of the fans who made the rise of today possible by thinking and working harder than everyone else in each and every moment. We will continue to do our utmost to support the rise members so that they can grow even further in the future as well. Wizard Production will be careful and cautious in all matters in the future, and we will work hard so that Rise and Bryze can be happy together for a long time. Wizard Production Directors Kim Hyung Guk and Lee Song Min. All right, now, before I give my take, this makes me so freaking mad. I'm trying my best, y'all, I'm trying, but before I do talk about anything else, the fans have done an amazing job of voicing their concerns. The problem with the concerns they voiced is that they voiced more so hate than anything else. This kind of behavior has pissed me off for the last time. I am really sick and tired of this. I don't know how, I'm trying to stay calm. I don't know how 
we've gotten to this point where it is okay to send funeral wreaths to the six members saying that Rise is six. This is the concerns, by the way, that Wizard Production was talking about, the fans were giving. They sent funeral wreaths. First of all, that costs a lot of money to send those wreaths. And the fact that they did that just to make a statement and mind you, the company can't remove the funeral wreaths. They can't remove them. They strategically placed those wreaths in the city property area right in front of the SM building so that they couldn't be removed no matter what. The prices of some of these wreaths go up to like the 150s and beyond. In fact, if one gets damaged, the company has to replace it. That's how bad this is. This company has catered to the whims and wishes and desires and deepest dreams and thoughts of the toxic fandom. This is like the last time, and I'm saying it, and I know it won't be the last time, but this is the last time. I am pissed, I am annoyed, I am upset, and it infuriates me that Sung Han has been put on hiatus for quote unquote wrongdoings, and yet those wrongdoings are nowhere near as bad as what, say, Tail has been accused of doing. And yet, this is the treatment that Sung Han gets. I don't know how long this video is gonna be. I just know I'm gonna rant a lot. So prepare for it. Please prepare for it because I'm in my feelings. And usually when I'm in my feelings, it's not a good place to be. I was rooting for Rise. I supported Rise. I still love Rise. I love the, the members. I don't love what's going on, but I love Rise. What I don't love is SM Entertainment pulling this crap on us, the ones who wanted the seven back because a loud majority or whatever minority, whatever it is of Korean netizens voiced their concern, their concerns, quote unquote concerns with air quotes, cause it's not real concerns. It's more like threats and anger and hatred sending funeral wreaths. By the way, we're gonna get into this as well. The funeral flowers were disgusting. This is a quote from former Day6 member Jay, who is now called Age, slams Rise OT6 fans for sending funeral wreaths to Sung Han. On October 17, 2024, the former Day6 member Age expressed his thoughts on the situation surrounding the former member of Rise, Sung Han. He slams OT6 followers for sending the former member funeral wreaths. While quoting someone else's tweet directed to him, Edge said, quote, the funeral flowers were disgusting. The same people who sent them will be the first ones online mourning the tragic outcome they fought for. God forbid tragedy occurs, but I've been on that side before and it was close. I can't imagine the trauma it would cause someone that young." End quote. The article continues reading, Former Day6 member Age sympathizes with Rise's former member Sung Han. Former Day6 member Age called out fans who sent the funeral wreaths and highlighted the tragedy that may befall as a consequence of wishing unalived on someone. He sympathized with Sung Han as he recalled his experience of being close to a disastrous outcome. Age also advocated for trying the people who sent those funeral wreaths for attempted murder. These are his words, quote, anyone involved in the flowers should be tried for attempted murder because that's what it was, end quote. Edge's statements attracted mixed reactions from K-pop fans, as many allegedly believed that the artist was doing this to gain attention. Of course, I kind of figured that that would be the case. Before even reading this, I already had it in my head that that's probably what they were gonna think. He's just doing this for attention, right? However, his fans and other netizens supported and defended his statements. This is an X slash Twitter user responded to the hate and the criticism that Age was getting. So this is what this X slash Twitter user responded to those comments saying, quote, y'all want people in the industry to speak up until one that has experience actually does. Jay has always been outspoken about the importance of mental health, the dangerous side of parasocial relationships, and I'm just quoting it, and how shitty companies can be. Good on him for spreading awareness. And that was a quote by the X user once again. 
what this ex user said, I agree totally with what this person says. And I agree with what Age has said in all of this. It is attempted murder, even if it's not by Korean standards and Korean law, because unless the person in question who is being hated on takes an act into his own hands, it's not really seen as any kind of tragic thing. It's like you have to wait for someone to do something in order for it to be, you know, attempted murder. But it's like, what if it's not attempted murder and that person actually does unalive themselves? The fans are still not implicated in this. It didn't happen in any other case where someone committed the final fatal act of their life by ending their life. It has never happened. So yeah, I do think they should be tried for attempted murder. I really do. I've always felt that way. And criticizing Edge for saying this is honestly, you don't get any thick headed than that. What he's saying makes perfect sense. I don't understand how you can sit there and criticize Jay or Edge for saying something so true and so profound in the K-pop industry. And like this person said, Y'all want K-pop idols to speak up when injustices are being done. But when one does, y'all shut them down because, oh, he's just clout chasing. Oh, they're just trying to seek for attention and all this stuff. Y'all don't know what y'all want. Do you want the idols to be free to speak or do you want them to be silenced and censored and controlled and read from a script? Make up your mind. This is the hypocrisy of the K-pop fandom. Seriously. By the way, he's right. He's right, J Edge, whatever he wants to call himself now. He's right, because these are the same kind of people that would mourn the loss. They would be the first ones saying, oh, my condolences. Y'all caused this, y'all caused this. Not to mention the death threats that he's been getting. What is this? This is what we do in K-pop now. This is what it's become. It's become a circus for clowns like this fandoms to come and do crap like this. I feel like cursing, I'm not gonna do it. I'm gonna try my best to come and do stuff like this. And guess who's not held responsible or accountable for anything? The fans are. Guess who all the blame and accountability goes towards? People like Sung Han. This is toxic. This is evil. This is disgusting. I'm sick and tired of it. And don't sit here and tell me that this is Korean culture. I'll come through this screen. I promise you, I will come through this screen. I do not want to hear not one single Korean tell me that sending funeral wreaths to state your disapproval of an artist returning to his group is Korean culture. Sending death threats is not Korean culture. Please don't tell me this. Please don't tell me this. Do not tell me this in the comment section. I will body slam each and every person that does in the form of a comment, a very stern comment and I might just block all the comments that say that. So please don't do it. I'm, I'm telling you, I'm not in the mood. I was not an avid fan of Rise, but I was a fan enough to support them and their music and every endeavor that they ever strive to achieve. But this, what what has happened, and I'm trying to, I'm trying to convey my thoughts cohesively while being angry at the same time. This that has happened with SM giving in to the whims and wishes of these people, the OT6 crowd, this is why I don't support SM. This is why I don't like companies. This is why I have such a strong hatred towards companies. I don't care what company it is. This is why, because you keep doing crap like this. You constantly let these netizens run your company instead of you taking charge, you putting your foot down. And yeah, I heard that the shareholders were not happy about Sung Han's return as well. For, and this probably should have been the first thing I said, I don't once, not once, buy for a minute, for a second, a millisecond, that Sung Han wanted to leave. I don't believe it. You can't convince me, nor can you pay me enough money to convince me that he wanted to leave. Absolutely not. I'm sorry. You won't be able to do it. It's disgusting. It's annoying. It's frustrating. It's always the toxic people that get their way. 
It's never the people that actually want the group to come back together. Rise themselves are probably not freaking happy about this. And I wouldn't blame them. I'm not happy, they're not happy. I, well, none of us are happy. But guess what? The toxic OT Korean stands out there who have a double standard complex towards themselves as opposed to the idols doing the same thing that they would do and not getting any heat for it would rather him be kicked out than to rejoin his members, the members that are so longing to see him and be reunited with him. You guys got what you wanted. I hope you're happy. But I will say this, on a bigger note, the hatred that y'all are giving to this person for not even committing a crime like a certain someone from NCT has been accused of, the amount of hatred that y'all are giving this person is absolutely stupid, absolutely stupid. And you wonder why people in the community are pissed off at K Netizens for being this way. You wonder why people are pissed off because of the standards of perfection that you can't even hold yourselves to, but you hold people who you deem are higher than you because they're idols. It's not okay for them to smoke or drink. And I get it, smoking's bad. I get it, drinking's not so great. But guess what? Y'all do the same thing. Y'all do the same thing. Y'all don't get any heat for it. Y'all are not held accountable for it, but the idols are to the point where their jobs are taken away and you think that this is okay. And then you send death threats to this person and you send hate to this person. And God forbid, like Jay said, if he made a fatal decision, y'all would be the first ones jumping online saying, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Oh my God, I hope he's, oh, 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 the family. Oh my God, I can't believe he left this. What do you mean you can't believe it? You played a part in it. You had your hand in it. Funeral wreaths, funeral wreaths. You paid money for this. Now you're crying about him tragically passing away because he unalived himself because y'all did this. This is annoying. Every, I'm telling you, I'm sick of seeing this. I'm sick of seeing it. If he ever lost his life, if he ever unalived himself, y'all did this to top. Y'all did the same God dang, I'm about to curse. Don't do it, Lord. Please don't let me curse. The same freaking thing happened to top. I'm freaking sick of it. I'm sick of it. This is so dumb. I want the accountability to be on the netizens side too. Sung Han did not do any criminal acts. Sung Han did not commit any crimes. Sung Han did not do anything personally to you guys. You're jealous because you can't have the man. If I can't have him, no one will. Get him out of Rise, blah, blah, blah. And I sound like a crazy person throwing a tantrum and you're probably saying that online, you K netizens out there, but there's a reason why. When you pull stupid crap like this, this is what happens. You get upset people on the other side of the world who think that a lot of the things that you guys take seriously is BS because you take smoking and having a girlfriend and drinking seriously, but you have a girlfriend or a boyfriend and you smoke and drink and the double standards don't match. They don't add up. Your attitude towards Sung Han for doing what you would normally do don't add up. And the hypocrisy that we have to constantly deal with on the other side of the world, because we're looking at Korea like they have three heads or like there's some kind of close encounters of the third kind or something because they're pulling stupid crap like this. Funeral wreaths. The freak is wrong with y'all. Yes, I'm sorry, I, I'm, I'm trying not to yell, but I, I can't, I can't hold it in. This is annoying that I have to constantly look at this all the time. This really is, it bothers me. If anything happens to that man because he couldn't take it anymore, God forbid, but if anything happens to that man, I will be back on here again doing the same crap that I'm doing now because this makes no sense. Y'all haven't learned nothing from Sully, nothing from Gohara, nothing from Jonghyun, nothing, nothing, nothing. And it's pissing me off. You've learned nothing. The volleyball player 
the famous Korean volleyball player who unalived himself. I've talked about this before. Jammy59, the female Korean streamer. Both of those people unalived themselves because of bullying, because of hate. This is a cycle that will never end, it seems, because y'all don't learn y'all lesson. You don't learn how to stop doing this to people. You wanted Exo's Chen and Chen Yeo's livelihood taken away because Chen got married and you were accusing Chen Yeo of doing stuff that he didn't actually do. Y'all gotta stop this. This is y'all's problem. Guess what? I'm a Westerner calling it out and I don't give a crap. You can hate me if you want to. I'm saying this out of love and out of concern for the fandom because y'all are people. The entity is the fandom, but y'all are people deep down because I know y'all still have the capacity to feel. And I'm saying this on behalf of Sung Han and Rise. Rise are not happy about this. I know they're not. I know they're not. No, I haven't interviewed them. I don't need to interview them to find that out. I can look at their faces. They're not freaking happy about it. They're not happy. I'm not happy. It's pissing me off. It's getting on my nerves and I'm sick of seeing it. It's 2024 and we're still going around in circles and in cycles with this nonsense. I don't know what else to say. I was trying to do a cognitive conversation here, but I, I'm, I'm running on fumes and smoke right now. I'm sick of this. By the way, these funeral wreaths, for those of you who don't know, and I actually found out about this, this happened around the same time as Sully's passing. That's what makes this even more gross. And you wonder why we talk about this stuff. You wonder why we cover this stuff. You wonder why we constantly call you guys out for your BS because you do stuff like this. I hope that Sung Han is okay. I hope that he has strong support system. I hope that Rise has a strong support system because this didn't just hurt Sung Han, this hurt Rise. Y'all are the fandom of Rise and y'all don't even realize y'all actually hurt y'all's group. Y'all are so out of touch with reality that y'all don't even realize y'all actually hurt y'all's group. Y'all did this. You did this. And SM, y'all pissed me off for the last time. Y'all pissed me off. I can't believe, actually, no, I can't believe it. Y'all let these people make decisions. Y'all let the fandom tell y'all what to do and you just did it like cowering little ants. Y'all just did exactly what they told y'all to do. That's why, let me go back to this line right here. We made this decision after debating it for a long time because we thought that if Sung Han returned after reflecting on his past wrongdoings, what past wrongdoings? The smoking? The girlfriend, his past wrongdoings, and Rise showed another level of growth as a group. We would be able to give the artists and the fans greater joy. However, the announcement of his return, we realized that our decision had actually hurt the fans because of the opinions and responses sent by the fans. What opinions? What response? The response of the funeral wreaths? The response of the hate that he got, the response of we're not going to support Rise if Sung Han's back, the response of Sung Han's a liability, Sung Han doesn't deserve to be happy because he betrayed us, he betrayed the fandom, he betrayed the group, it'll be a stain on the group, the cycle never ends. Piss off. Piss the freak off. I don't care. Just piss off. I'm sick of it. So yes, I'm quite cross at the moment with netizens from Korea. This is it. I've had it. Oh, we realize now that it was a mistake. No, don't cower. Don't punk out. Y'all established this group as seven members. If they don't support you, fine. Guess what? The international fandom of Rise is actually a lot bigger than the Korean fandom. If you want something to play with, get a guitar and come to the West. Come to the West. I've, ha I've had enough. I've, I think I've said enough. I've, I'm... I don't know what else to say. I, I think I've said everything I'm gonna say. I'm sorry if I yelled a little too much. I apologize. I'm frustrated. And the ramifications of what y'all have done to this man, may God forgive you all. I've been very cautious, even in this moment. I've been very cautious with my language, but I might, I might 
say something really, really foul. If anything happens to him, if I'm telling y'all right the freak now, if anything happens to him, you will hear my voice in a greater weight of wrath than you do right now, I'm telling you. I don't wanna have to come back to this topic because Sung Han did something, God forbid, fatal. I'm telling you, you've hurt your group rise, you've hurt Sung Han, you've destroyed any chance of him coming back with his members, and I hope you're happy. I really hope y'all are happy about what you did. The pendulum of morality swings yet again in the worst ever kind of way. And I've had enough. Let me know how y'all feel about it. Are y'all as angry as I am? I know some of y'all are probably over it. I'm not. I was sick, so I couldn't quite talk about it. I'm getting much better now, as you can probably hear in my voice. Every frustration that I was holding back when I was sick, when I got the news, I'm just unleashing it here. And I, I don't mean to be this angry, but I'm tired of it and I've had enough of it. Please don't do this. Stop doing this. Stop doing this. Korea, South Korea and Korean netizens, stop doing this. You make yourself look terrible by doing this. I love each and every one of you. I'm toning my voice down. I love each and every one of you. Until next time, peace, and I will see you in the next video in a better mood than I am right now because I am pissed. Love y'all. Bye.